hard to do that. Okay. So tell us, how long have you been working with Marco? Just about two years now. And you've been around a lot of good boxers. Yes. Yes. So tell us a little bit about your boxing career. Oh man, we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> no, I mean basically I, I started out of uh, out of California. I did my amateur career, my professional career, and then um, I reside back in Kansas City. Boxing has 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 been good to me. You know, staying out of trouble, working with kids, mentoring. So now we're here. So you think Marco is kind of a special? Oh, uh, I think Marco is. He doesn't even know what he has. Yeah, I think he's a 13-year-old, big 13-year-old, strong 13-year-old, um, won Junior Olympics last year, and I think we're gonna try to make it back uh, for him to win it, and, and um, he has won the ringside tournament all four year rounds. He's been a champion on that part. Uh, he's been improving a lot, so I mean, he's learning every year, he's learning, he's learning. And on top of that, um, he's a great boxer. Yeah, he's a great boxer. What would be the ultimate goal? I think the ultimate goal for him is to be an Olympic champion, a gold medalist. So uh, with that being said, I mean, Marco is a, a great kid. He's a great boxer. Uh, listens well to the coach, me. Even if I'm not fighting in a tournament, I usually wake up around 6 in the morning, run at least three miles, and come back, do a little bit of workout. Tell us a little bit about his workout routine. I mean, his workout routine is, is, I mean, you can, he does everything I tell him, ask him to. So, I mean, you know, it's as far as losing weight, running, doing the road work in the morning, going to school. It's a lot of sacrifice. It's a lot of sacrifice. So, I mean, and a lot of discipline. Going to school, going to big tournaments, missing a week of, of school, coming back and being still academic on that part. That's, that shows a lot of, a lot of him, you know? And there's times where you have a good day, and there's times where you have a bad day. So, I mean, yeah. there's all those sorts of stuff that you have to, yeah. to understand. But now, I mean, now that we have this, and then now that all these kids can come and, yeah. and, and practice and learn boxing, you know, uh, for free. Uh, me and Matt, he's a director, met up probably about two and a half years ago. So, uh, we met up, and I told him what I wanted to do. And it took time. It took a lot of time. We, it took longer than what we expected. <laughs> he had this, this property already, so, I mean, uh, with that being said, um, it just it took a long time, you know. I mean, they had to remodel, they did the paintings. I mean, beautiful paintings. Uh, it came out great. I mean, you can't, you can't ask for more, you know. I mean, all this stuff. Then you got the art class in the back, so. I mean, everything that we're doing for the community, I think this is, uh, this is great, you know, giving something back. Uh, he grew up in this community, I grew up in this community. Actually, my mom still lives a couple of blocks away, so she doesn't want to leave, you know, and then we got the community garden. So it's not just the gym, you know, it's, it's a lot of stuff that, that kids can be involved. And not just the kids, but, you know, as far as uh, the whole community, you know, adults, and serve the community and do something, make a difference.